Todd's Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Call or text 702-595-0488. As Biden prematurely withdrew troops in Afghanistan, naturally many of our nation's heroes came back with actual mental health concerns that the average everyday civilian is just not faced with. Lieutenant Merritt Davey now joins us with his heroic story about how he faced his demons and came out on top. I was so embarrassed about all this stuff going on because in my head, the people that I knew and that I was close with, they were friends with me because of my performance at work or uh, my fitness or these other things. So I felt like if I admitted to needing help in these areas, I'd be seen as a fraud and things would just fall away. Just last year, Air Force mental health delegates implemented targeted care, which connects airmen to specified medical services. I could feel in my, my heart that just things weren't right. So I would go to numb those things out, whether it's alcohol, uh, pursuing just empty relationships at the time, or a big thing for me, was food you know the fitness thing on top of this lack of uh life really uh, i developed uh, an eating disorder from that physically mentally emotionally spiritually i just felt drained and for months at a time i was just spiraling down in deep depression thinking i'd probably just be better off dead i kept these issues bottled up for so long that it got to a point of just total breakage you know, between 2018 and 2020. Via targeted care, military providers can then further direct our freedom fighters to specialized agencies. I'm gonna hook a line onto this real quick and just roll it out. After coming back from Afghanistan, I got picked up for a commissioning program. And within 30 days, I drove across country to Colorado in the middle of COVID and started classes at Colorado State University. The state was on fire, I didn't know anybody. So these two things that were really my identity, um, particularly the military, especially after eight months downrange, entirely without my team, my identity as an EOD technician and a team leader hey, get Damien up here. Leave me with the crew. was gone. You guys want to back up a little more? Yep. Even just wearing the uniform every day, gone understanding what I was doing was gone. Thankful for that though, because that gave me that desperation I needed to look into things that actually would fulfill. The first week of classes, a guy named Blake, who's now my best friend, stopped me on campus and we started talking and he invited me to go to church. And that just started a whole chain of events over those three years in Colorado that completely turned my life around. Yeah, the turning point was definitely my faith. It gave me purpose beyond myself, understanding, really restored a lot. Over those three years, it just really put me in a much better place to come back to the military when I commissioned. It actually helps me be better at work and better at home, because I'm not conflating the two. But what I would tell people who are on the fence about seeking help or thinking their issue is not big enough yet, I would tell you go right now. Reporting from one of the most powerful places on the planet, I'm Maria Centers with News 25 Las Vegas.